this alone. So that will really help. Um, Senzo, I think let's go in slowly. The wind is good. Let's go in slowly and see if we can get close. Well done, Ken. Twenty-eight is and uh, seven, uh, uh, six eights. Down here with Dries Visser uh, Safaris in South Africa. If you all you bow hunters out there, you want to have a good time and get some good shooting and see lots of animals, these guys really set you up nice. We've been hunting pretty hard. We've been hunting from about 5.36 in the morning until <laughs> Till dark and eating a good supper, they feed you real well, nice accommodations, swimming pool, it's great. to get two of these are very tough animals it's good to get two of them down yeah they're uh, pretty smart they can really smell good and uh, they're really a good challenge here in uh, South Africa
well, it stuck in, but it felt like it was a little bit, maybe a little forward and a little high, but. I don't know, I think, we'll have a look now, but it doesn't look too bad. Think he's dead? I think he will be dead. Okay. Yeah. Feels good. Well done. Thank you. Tell us about your first kudu. First kudu. Ah, fabulous hunt. It was a great morning, kind of cold starting off, and then he came in. It's just uh, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Showing me where to shoot these animals, and he just done a fabulous job helping me with Dree's Vister Safari. We had Gims Buck in here at this uh, bait site all morning. We've watched them since nine o'clock, and finally they came in. The wind's been swirling, and we got a shot at him. And Nico pulled a fast one on me, and tricked me but <laughs> he didn't go too far he ran about 100 yards but i'm having a blast let's go get a kudu this yeah, evening that's what she was going to go i got it you're happy yeah i hit him perfect he didn't come in with a group of kudu this morning we didn't know if he's gonna come in we were over here looking at him in Palma, but he just came in. And I looked back and he was eating. We didn't even know he was standing there. And we finally got a shot at him. He was nearly perfectly broadside. He was maybe quartering to me just a little bit. So I put it three inches forward and I smoked him. It buried up all the way to the fletchings nearly, so he shouldn't be too far at all. It's a good bull. What do you say now, JD? I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you, JD. Those other horns got character. Well, Dree says he probably broke this side off there in the rut this year, but I just think it gives him some character. So, okay. I mean, Dree's Visser Safaris has been amazing. I've hunted six days so far, already shot six animals. I'm running out of animals. I've still got four <laughs> days left. and I can't say anything more than they're great. We're on day seven right now. This is my seventh animal and it can't really be any better than this.
Using the extra long tape? Yeah. Okay. You can do it all the day. Uh huh. All the day. Hope it's a yardstick. Twenty nine inches. Holy smoly. Wow. This is a big one. You took it off? <laughs> <laughs> They definitely don't describe how beautiful a sable is and give it justice in the book. You need to see it in person. What a phenomenal animal. Thanks, Dries. Thanks, Hein. You're a great group of people. Day four here at Dries Fisher Safaris with this blue wildebeest. Came in three different times. Uh, third time's a charm.
for a little bit. Keep there for a little bit. Right, Gary? What a nice eland. What happened to you? Ah, we had to wait uh, almost an hour on this thing, the last 30 or 35 minutes with it facing us, and ne never able to get a shot. Finally left the feeder, stopped about 25, actually made a decent shot. Probably didn't go 150 yards. We come up and found it. Nice yeah. animal. Man, looks like 39 and a half inch eland. She was walking, but luckily it's high enough to maybe catch some leather. Congratulations. Not a bad shot with a lot. Well, we were uh, waiting for Kudu this afternoon and had a very slow afternoon, but always uh, you know, anticipating the big boy to walk in, and all of a sudden this guy showed up late. And man, he looked huge to me, and Hines said he was a real trophy if I wanted to take him, so, you know, good things come to those who wait. the first day of the hunt. Uh, congratulations, you made a very good shot. It went about 150 yards. Tell us the story. Well, we were in the blind and made about a 32 yard shot on the buffalo. Um, we weren't real sure he stood up, so we left him overnight and came in here and found him the next day. He went about 150 yards. He didn't go far at all. It's perfect. 
perfect. I'll do we'll go in the track and see. Oh, let's see. Heart and lungs. Yeah. Even if it's slow. Yeah, it should be fine. And then, perfect. Yeah, didn't go far, eh? No. The book was right. <laughs> <laughs> Tracking by the book. <laughs> Shooting by the book. Well, we were actually watching a big blue wildebeest and we thought about trying him with a stick bow. Um, he never would give us a good angle in this. And Paul had actually been feeding and banging against the blind um, while we were waiting for a shot at the wildebeest. So when he walked by at an arrow's length, we decided we couldn't pass it up and we made the shot, got it on video, made a good shot. He went about 50 yards and here we are back in the exact spot where we shot him. We had about 12 of these come in. Mm -hmm. and this is the only one that gave me a, a, a good shot. It was a good bull, plus the mm -hmm. zebra. Mm -hmm. The place is crawling with wildlife. I'm, I'm having an awesome time, best time of my life. What is that? Looks like a spaceship. Show up his own leg bone. Yep. Spun the arrow in. Mm -hmm. Right into his lungs. Oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You happy? Except for my wife. He's down. Looks like you have an excellent shot. It looks like it worked. Yeah, yeah.
getting ready to take a, uh, a wildebeest bull and he didn't give me the shot and so I immediately switched my shot to this uh, this white blesbuck that was in as well. Uh, it's going to be a great match for, for the blesbuck my son uh, shot yesterday. Uh, just having a great time here uh, through, through Mr. Safari. Um, game just everywhere and just a just a gorgeous gorgeous place We got here and we got in the blind this afternoon Got some warthogs come in and uh, uh, This little diker snuck in just at the corner of the water hole uh, Will and I had to switch places in the blind and I had to get into the very corner just to get an angle to get out from behind the bush so I could get a shot on this little guy and um, I smoked him at about eight yards. Sitting in the blind this morning, the blind that, that hadn't been hunted much, um, just at the base of these mountains here. And uh, all of a sudden this monster warthog comes trotting right in, just stuck his nose in the water. Um, made a great shot, perfectly broadside. Just hung back until everybody else was done. He finally worked his way in. Um, he crossed in front of us. Followed him across the, the front of the blind until I had just uh, just about a broadside, maybe a little bit of a quartering away shot, um, and I let it go. And uh, gosh, just a great blood trail immediately. That was good. I think it was just a airbag, but it was good. I think he looked for the offsetting leg on the opposite side. And I put it in there. He was quartering away from me, so it looked really good. Hopefully it should be a short tracking job. And it's a great, great, great bush buck. Oh, what a beautiful bush buck, man. Man. Isn't he pretty? Oh. Well, beautiful. Beautiful bushbuck. Heavy, long, old bushbuck. Look at his dark color. Very dark. Sixteen and three quarters. <laughs> this He's is a little above average. average. <laughs> this is out of a bushbuck. Yeah, Sixteen and you, three quarter Hines. bushbuck. You can't beat them. Bob, here he is. <laughs> he didn't even go 10 yards. <laughs> Man, what a pick. Holy shit. Look at that pick. Big ball. <laughs> he looks great. <laughs> Perfect.
first one came in we couldn't tell what it was so we held off and then uh, next one came walking in and as soon as that one walked in right away we knew it was a male we uh, waited for the male to quarter away a little bit cleared the other uh, the other pig and uh, shot and shot looked good right off the bat and good shot perfect shot perfect shot we nailed him that was perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn it. He's not, he's not going to go far. <laughs> Man, I was shaking. I thought I was screwed up. You got, you got a lot of penetration. Oh, did I? Good. Perfect shot. Look at that. And you got to compete pass through with what, 46 pounds? Yep. Great. Good job, Rachel. Good job, Rachel. Look at that. Wow. Nice shot, nice string butt. Bloody. Very nice string butt, Rach. Congratulations. <laughs> <Right, man. laughs> how excited I am. This is, um, of all the animals, this is the one I was most excited and hoping, uh, about and hoping to take. Um, this is day six of our eight day hunt here with uh, Three Sister Safari. Accommodations couldn't be better. Just absolutely the hunt of a lifetime. Just I had to be patient. Uh, you kept telling me to wait and wait and wait, and finally he turned away from me. And uh, you know, of all the kudu we saw, this is the one I wanted with that crooked horn. I think it's going to make a nice trophy.
appreciate everything. Uh, pleasure, man. Thanks very much. Very, very much. I'm really up my head. I'm still shaking. <laughs>
Oh man. Really nice bull. Look at that. Oh yeah. What do you think? 50 plus, huh? 50 plus. Yeah. Definitely. Nice, nice. Uh, nice bases. Yeah. Oh man. And <laughs> it's nice beautiful. This is a this is a really nice for the bull. Beautiful. Hey, take five. Congratulate. That's Thank a really you. nice Thank shot you, on this one. Didn't go Appreciate far, it. about 40 yards from the blind. Yeah. He's down. 58. 58 inch kudu. Well done, man. Hey. Congratulate. Um, man, that's a really nice one. Thank you. Man. You measure it is 10 inches. So that's a good one. I'm really very happy. I thought it was only about an eight incher. I seen him a couple days ago, uh -huh. and uh, but the uh, more I looked at him, the better he looked. <laughs> so we ended up shooting today on the next to the last day of our summer here. And, uh, man, I'm more than happy with it. Uh, he came in earlier today, but uh, I didn't get a shot on him. He ran off and come back what two, two and a half hours later and gave us another opportunity. Yeah. Ninth day of hunting here in the Limpopo province of South Africa with Dries Visser Safaris and things are going well. I have one animal left, a zebra tomorrow, and mm -hmm. hopefully we can close the deal on that guy. Yeah, I think you will. We heard her go down out there, so we're pretty sure we got her. I'm, I'm happy that that ends my hunt. What makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. Congratulate. Thank you, buddy. And again, this caps off the perfect uh, ending to a to a ten day hunt here in the mm -hmm. little Popo province uh, with Dries Vista Safaris. I couldn't be happy. Okay. First animal of the trip. Um, got to the blind about eight o'clock, and I saw a lot of animals. The black wildebeest came in about nine forty-five, and and I was able to get a shot at this real nice bull, Marnus. Said it was a good one. I thank you, Marnus. Couldn't ask for anything. Shot this beautiful 23 inch Impala right at nine o'clock. So, yeah, that was on the spot. Yeah, exactly. So, very happy with this uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, African Impala.
two hours. Two hours. Shot two hours. Wow. sitting for about two and a half hours. Uh, Drees, you guys put a lot of work into this bull. Uh, you had two different trail cameras up. What did we have over? Almost 2,000 pictures. 2,000 pictures. 2,000 pictures. Figured out that the bull was coming to this blind here. So we put up this pop-up and brushed it in. And uh, boy, we've just been covered up in warthogs and seen some bush buck and had some imp uh, impala all around us fighting and some kudu finally came in at 12.30. Man, I'm getting more nervous as I'm talking. <laughs> oh, what an incredible bull. Kudu wasn't even on my on my list, but when we were looking at those pictures and we saw that bull and you said that you think he's close to 60, it's uh, that's an opportunity that you well, don't pass up. Yes. You don't pass up. Yeah. When you said, when you grabbed your binoculars and said, that's your bull, man, my heart just started racing. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't even think I was joking. No, I didn't. I didn't even hesitate. I knew I was serious. Yep. And then when I saw the horns tipping out like that, I knew that he was the one. And uh, I actually remained really calm until after I shot. Now I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> good, man. You made a good shot. Oh, God, what an awesome ball. Thank you, Lord. What's the measurement? 58 and three quarters there. Almost 59. Almost 59. That's the shortest horn, eh? Yes. So it's definitely 59. Okay. I think the other one is longer. Okay. Let's see. There's 50, eh? You're right at 50 now. I'm right at 50. Look what's left. All right. Can't see that side, so right there. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. All right, you're right at 60. 61. 61. 61 inches. <laughs> what did we told you, eh? Hey, Ron. Holy smokes. 61. <laughs> Right there, boy, I'll tell you what, that just amazes me that an animal can go. I mean, we're probably 140 yards, 150 yards from the blind that they can go that far with a double lung shot like right that. That's not much in at all. No, it's not. That's why I told you that the penetration looked very weird to me. I mean, look at this. Just all day. That's what? Six inches? Yeah, I mean, look at look that. You <coughs> must have hit him in here and then he yeah. deflected because left. He was quartering away. Yeah, that's why you didn't get penetration. Yeah. What a very nice boo. 
Ice ball, hold on. number of 24 25 inches and we were kind of holding out for something a little bit bigger so this is incredible so thank you appreciate it Shot. When he spun around, we saw blood going out of both sides, so uh, uh, we knew we had a, had a good shot and we knew we had a good stallion down. And uh, I tell you, this is the sixth day of the hunt. It's been absolutely incredible. No, I think I'm good on this. You think so? No nerves. <laughs> you feel good? Yeah. What about a zebra? <laughs> Not now. Too many zebra. For the very nice wildebeest, it's uh, one day in the blind, none, no shots, and today I got a shot and about two hours in the blind, so very good day. Yeah, it's a lovely day, because we've got the birthday girl of us. <laughs> yeah, this is what he gave me for my birthday. Yeah. That's right, Shirley's birthday present, right? Here. That's it. Happy birthday, Shirley. Happy birthday. Thank you. Twenty yards. Didn't go twenty yards. It's done. Oh, perfect shot. Perfect shot, man. It's <laughs> like my friend. He finally did it. Well Dude. done. It's worth waiting for a big kudu, huh? Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. That's a lovely kudu. Excellent. And there, look there. You can see it from the blood. Just got the heart. Perfect shot. Very nice ball, man. Very nice. Well done.
to you, don't you? See the bottle where really goes the herdman that way. So we're just gonna wait here a little bit and then we go. Tom, <laughs> what, what, what do you think? <laughs> I think that was probably the most spectacular event of my hunting career. That was great. Yeah, he was close. He, was he like came three. around and we thought he was gonna charge, and of course he didn't, but he gave me a shot. And I think I, I might, my knees were rattling, but I think the arrow was true. So <laughs> yeah. we'll see if we can't find him in a bit. Uh, let's leave him a little bit and then we we'll start following. Yeah, I see the it. others is smelling on the ground, so I think they smell blood. Yeah, it it hit pretty close to where I was aiming, um, so the, I th I think we're pretty good. Uh, we got good penetration, so um, I will just <laughs> give him a little time and collect my wits and go collect our buffalo. Right. This buffalo died right next to the blind, which is crazy because we shot him about four or five hundred yards out in the out in the open bush there, but he came right here to the water hole and died there which is kind of odd but we're gonna drag him out get him where we can take some appropriate pictures but uh, he's a nice nice buffalo and I'm real proud of him okay Tom what a morning I guess so we had uh, we got this herd of buffalo we got out in front of him we got in between the bull here that I killed he worked his way towards us and uh, looked like we we're gonna have a charge <laughs> it's uh, pretty hairy there for a moment but uh, uh, he, he turned broadside then, gave me a shot at 20 yards, and uh, made the hit, and a very good hit, and he went a little bit, and uh, here's where we are. <laughs> Twenty-three inches, no man. <laughs> Twenty-three inches is a is a dandy mm. for Arabi. He will be very nice in the record book. Just Arabi. Yeah, behind him he just shot a buffalo yeah the truck arrived it didn't go very far it's just laying down over there it's, it just shows you a good shot but a good shot can do congratulations leon thank you very much let's go have a look at him here hunting with Dries visser anton is my ph uh he's got a buffalo this morning at about 11 o'clock it uh ran about 20 yards and and died so we got our buffalo the first morning Open the arrow, open the arrow. 
I take your time. That's it. That's a good shot. Oh, Jesus. That second shot was a good shot. Oh, where did I hit the first one? It was just far back. Really to the left again? Yeah. Shoot. Oh, that one was pouring blood. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shit. So he just walked over there and was going to sit there. Yeah, of course it was fall back, that's why he stopped. Uh, wow. That second job was good. Huh? Second job was good. Yeah, it looked real good. <laughs> you guys are blind, I saw him an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting and waiting, when are you gonna see him? <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to say good shot, I'm going to say good two shots. <laughs> Very good. Let's see that horns. Man, it's a dandy. Woo! Very good. Very good. Maybe an hour and a half after I shot a zebra. It took us 45 minutes to take pictures, find him, take pictures, and get him in a truck. And we got back in the same blind, and within a half an hour, we had more animals coming back in. over here. Perfect shot. He's cool helping. He's flopping, he's flopping. Thank you, my <laughs> friend. Stay on your eyes. Awesome. Great, great, oh. great, great.
ain't got it good. You see the blood going on there, I saw it. Did you saw the blood? Show me your hands. I was getting a little worried because it was farther than I thought it should be, but then there he was. We found him laying in the... Still enjoying you on? Uh, I'm having the time of my life. Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of animals. Wonderful time. Beautiful, beautiful place to stay and the food is great. <laughs> the animals are wonderful. This is so good. Nice, nice fall. Uh, thank you for all your help. Best blessing. Right. First afternoon in Africa, we're on the way to the lion line. See if we can get us a big male lion. We're gonna get him a line over there now. He is a little cool. He is a little cool. Yeah. We just got set up here in the lion, about blind. We had come in to check the bait before we set up, and the lion had just recently hit the bait. Uh, it appeared that he had pulled about half the bait off and drug it off. So we uh, we decided to stalk him a bit and see if we could catch up to him eating or feeding, or if we could find the bait. And we did. We found the bait. The lion wasn't on it anymore. We drug it back. We just tied it to the tree with the rest of the bait. We're going to sit here and see what happens. Hopefully, he'll come back in today before dark. Peyton, it's the first afternoon. Yeah. We've got a very nice line here. Tell us what happened. We came to check the bait before we got in the blind, and the bait had just been hit, and the lion had taken half of the bait, drug it off. So we tracked him uh, and found where he had drugged the bait and, and ate on it for a little while. So we got the bait, pulled it back, put it on the tree, got set up in the blind, and five minutes later he came back in. I guess he was just starving to death. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was pretty hungry. We heard him coming, roaring through the not yeah. roaring, but grunting through the bush. Yeah, and he stopped. And you take your time, and you made a perfect shot at 30 yards. I, I didn't have time to get nervous. I didn't have time to get anxious. I didn't have time to do anything except get my bow and shoot the line. And 30 <laughs> yards. Talk about a pressure shot. You did very well. Thank Congratulations. you. Thank you. Thank you. You see the little triangle on his shoulder. Just, just aim just to the left of that, or to the right of that, just, right? Not just behind. It. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, always you can think of bush pig at daytime. No. This is my second try for bush pig. Yeah. The first time I've ever seen one come out in the daytime. So yeah. this is this was quite a unique experience. Very good. Very good shot, Peter. Thank you. thinking of uh, trying to figure out which animals were going to come in first and all that and this one completely shocked me. I definitely was not expecting a bush buck which when opportunity knocks um, take advantage of it because these you don't see too often. Thank you very much. Nice thank evening, man. Eh? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Tell us about it, man. Eh? Yeah. Well, we were thinking the day was just about over. I shot a bush buck earlier today, and um, sun's going down, and we were starting to look at our stuff, thinking about packing up in a few minutes, and the uh, zebra came in right where he said they were going to come in. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it was definitely a pleasant surprise at the end of the day. Yeah. Made a real good shot on him and uh, had the good fortune to have Ben and Cutlass and Therese Visser Sr. come out and that was a special moment for me to have them all out here. That's the second time he came in today. That's on the deal. And that's the same animal you said never comes to water. That's too weird. It never comes to water. Yeah, there he is. He, he went about 160 yards. There's your arrow sticking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hard shot, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Put his head out there, let me see.
Look what I see. Oh. Russell. Oh. What a dandy. What a dandy. Man, that's a nice fish though. Very nice. Yeah, he uh, looks like 34, 35, maybe he's heavy. Yeah. yeah very nice. Big five. All right, yeah. <laughs> you got me a good one there. <laughs> Congratulations, nice right. rubber bug, eh? Yeah, hell yeah. Good one. Nico's got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was wondering why he was standing up behind us filming. I was like, he ain't being very stuck. <laughs> Look yeah. Look yeah. Nice though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice. Yeah, but this is the third warthog and by far the biggest. <laughs> it's a really, really nice one here. Nice trophy. Mm. And uh, I'm, I'm catching on to all your tricks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're, get, we're going all around here with it. Just, just... Maybe it's really four inches. It's a really nice trophy. All right, appreciate it, Nico. Uh, been having a good time out here at the Dress Business Safaris, and uh, you know this is a real nice one that, that walked out. And Nico put me right on it, showed me where to shoot it, and uh, been having a real good time out here. And, you know, looking forward to the next few days I got. Well, we've been waiting almost all day to see some blessed buck, and we finally see a few in the distance. So just waiting to see if they'll come in closer and wow. get a shot. How do you feel? I just shot a bus buck. It was about 18 yards at the water hole. I think I made a pretty good shot on it. Oh. Um, we sat most of the day in the blind waiting patiently for some bus buck to come in. Finally a group came in. Um, this one came to the water hole and then another one stepped in behind it so I had to wait. Um, finally um, she turned so she was by herself and I quarter went away, shot about 18 yards away at the water hole and she ran about four yards. Why are you shaking like that? <laughs> that must be the other job of it. Yes, you're shaking like mad. Oh, man, that's why I hunt all. <laughs> Thank uh, Dries Visser for a great time. We're on our fourth day, taking some nice animals. into the salt lock, salt lock there, 15 yards away. That's a very nice bull. Oh, smokes. That's a very nice bull. Hey. Um, 
Paula came in, went to the water hole, was quartering away from me, about an 18-yard shot, aimed at the far leg, it went in perfect, ran about 50, 55 yards, and we could see it lay down. Thank oh, you. That's a beautiful Impala. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks to Dries Research Safaris. I'm having a great time. Shot a, I think a really nice warthog come right by the other side of the blind, right by the window when we filmed him, and he went right into the water at 20 yards. And there's my arrow right in the water there. Right and you can't really see the no. blood because he's in the water there. Oh, oh, yeah, look at all the blood. Right over here. Oh yeah, there's the warthog. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> yeah, he's beautiful. He's going down. He went down. He's down. He's right down. He's just rolling over there. Oh, I just shot it. How do you feel? Great. I think I made a great shot. We just, I mean, he's down. That's a perfect shot. Oh, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Take five. Well, we were waiting for a wildebeest today to come in, and we had uh, other critters coming and going all day, and we were patient and waited uh, most all the day, and we could see the sun is setting in the background there. We... One came in, uh, this nice bull here, right at the last half an hour, I suppose, and I made a nice shot, and he probably ran 100 yards, and this is where he laid. So I'm very happy and pleased with this. This is one of the last animals I wanted. So thank you very much, Stefan. We're here on our second day in Namibia. Yesterday we saw a lot of animals, a lot of animals I hadn't seen before. We saw some uh, gems, but a lot of kudu, giraffe. Nothing that we could shoot though. So we're sitting at a water hole this morning. I've seen some nice cooter coming yesterday. That was awesome. First animal in Africa. Got a nice little steam bug. He was facing us. Put it right between his shoulder blades. So. We've seen a lot of animals and we weren't here for about 10 minutes this morning. This nice steam bug came in, put a good shot on him, didn't go far. And uh, I'm excited to get back in the blind because we're seeing a lot of big kudu come in. And uh, hopefully I'll be talking to you a little bit later in the day with a nice kid. We did, we did find the arrow, we got a clean pass through. There appears to be pretty good blood in the arrow. Looks pretty red, like we might have caught the back of a lung. So it's a good sign. We've already got some blood started here on the ground right away. So we'll see what happens. All right, we've been trailing them for about 75 yards now. The blood's not as good as it was back uh, when we first started. But in the sand here, it's easy enough to follow the tracks. You can usually separate which kudu is which. So 
We're just gonna keep following this trail and hopefully it won't be too far. Right away this morning we had a nice steam buck come in and I was able to knock that one down uh, about 7.15 and I said on camera that I was hoping to be sitting here with a nice kuda later in the day and here it is. We had animals all around us this morning. It was unbelievable. Look, she came right in. I have waited all week for this animal. This is the one animal I really wanted. All right, as you can see, we already have really good blood right by the water hole, just a few feet after I shot her. And best of all, you can see she's just laying right up here, probably not 75 yards away. Sitting by a gems buck that I hunted hard all week. My pH did a great job tonight. Uh, the wind was perfect for this blind we're hunting. This gems buck came right in. It was just before four o'clock. I put a great shot, angled right up, went through all the vitals, and she died not 30 seconds later, about 75 yards from Last night when you told me it's on your list, I told you, yeah, we're going to try, but we, we got him. You got him? Well, you just have to have faith. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's a nice one. Nice, really big one. Congratulations. Thanks, Eddie. Good job. You're whacking. Long for him. Took a nap. They took a nap. We're sleeping. Yeah. 
absolutely way not. Oh man, he's a beauty. Oh no. He's a beauty. It was a long wait for him. He laid out too far to shoot. Took a nap. Got up and scratched. Watered in the dust. Took another nap. So did we. <laughs> well, thanks to my PH here, we bagged a whopper. An old man at that. So it was a great day and a great night. Something was coming out there. Yeah, definitely. Good job, Anak. Despite the baboons, we got it done. <laughs> came in and gave us a 25 yard shot and the rage did its did its work and uh, amazing pick. Congratulations. Nice one. We're definitely in the brick park area here because we saw a lot of big males this morning. This one finally gave us a good shot. Shot a mountain ridgeback also this morning. What a good place. What do you think? How's the trip going so far? Beautiful. Beautiful. It's Bushbuck Revenge Day. Um, gorgeous animals in the mountains up here. The mountain ridgeback, the bushbuck. Just a great way to spend the evening. The trip's been
Saw some zebra this morning and uh, didn't quite capitalize on that, but the day's not over yet, so we're going to get after that. But I love this guy. He's, he's going to look great on the wall. He's got great markings on him. The horns are uh, have a lot of character to them, and uh, I, I just love it. It's going to be great. Thank you very much. We'll get something here. There is a Subaru. Here's blood right here on the tree, right by the water hole. So he's not going far. Wow. That's a strong zebra there, I'll tell you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, we got her. We got her done. Tell me. I want to thank you, Nico, and the whole gang and over at the Dries Visser Safaris. And uh, it worked out really good. He came in very quickly. I thought we were going to have to wait, but uh, he came in very, very fast. And uh, this one gave us the best uh, shot opportunity, and we took it, and it worked out very well. So, uh, yeah, that's happy a, ending. That's, that's <laughs> a nice stallion. That's a very really nice stallion. <laughs>
that you later that shot is my shot. It didn't go far, actually. Yeah, no. We saw it going just over the hill, turning left into the road, and then disappeared. But I'm sure it's just behind the hill there. 28 and a quarter. Well done, Yago.